Hello and welcome. In this video, we are discussing about Java Server Pages (JSP) filters. So we will discuss filters in JSP. Servlet and JSP filters are Java classes that can be used in Servlet and JSP programming for the purposes like to intercept a request from a client before they access a resource at a backend to manipulate responses from server before they are sent back to the client so there are various types of filters suggested by specifications authentication filters data compression filters encryption filters filters that trigger resource access events image conversion filters logging and auditing filters mime type chain filters tokenizing filters and xslt filters that transform xml content so filters are deployed in the deployment descriptor file web.xml and then map to either servlet or jsp names or url patterns in your applications deployment descriptor so the deployment descriptor file web.xml can be found in tomcat installation directory slash conf directory so when the jsp container starts up your web application it creates an instance of each filter that you have declared in the deployment descriptor and the filters execute in the order that they are declared in the deployment descriptor servlet filter methods so a filter is simply a java class that implements the java x dot servlet dot filter interface the java x dot servlet dot filter interface defines three methods method and description public void do filter servlet request servlet response filter chain this method is called by the container each time a request or response pair is passed through the chain due to a client request or a resource at the end of the chain public void init filter config filter config this method is called by the web container to indicate to a filter that it is being placed into service public void destroy this method is called by the web container to indicate to a filter that it is being taken out of service jsp filter example so how to print the client's ip address and current date time it would access any jsp file so jsp filter mapping in web.xml so filters are defined and then mapped to a url or jsp file name in much the same way as servlet is defined and then mapped to a url pattern in web.xml file So this was a brief discussion on Java server pages filters. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now.